Hi everyone, and welcome back to Cascapades, a traveller scratch pad, a great cruise vlog, blog, and everything in between here on YouTube. It's really great for you to be following along in this series where we're discussing all the different loyalty programs that each of the cruise lines has to offer. Today, we're looking at Holland America Line. So, Holland America Line has obviously the Mariner Society. That's the name that they give to their loyalty program and members will receive a lovely invitation to an exclusive Mariner Society embarkation event, a collectible gift, magazine subscriptions, and much, much more. Let's break down all of the different things. So, when you enter the Mariner Society, that's their loyalty program, as I said, your uh, perks start from day one. Your first sailing, you are Star Mariner. That oh, sounds fancy, doesn't it? Sounds like something out of Star Trek. So the perks of membership begin with the first sailing and membership benefits um, begin basically uh, the second sailing. So you're a member on the first, perks really start going on the second. Exclusive access, for example, to the embarkation lunch reception. So on the first day when you embark the ship, all Star Mariner members are invited to this lovely, lavish lunch just for those people who have signed up to the programme. There's brunch uh, with a complimentary glass of champagne, or it's probably sparkling wine rather than champagne, but you know, needs must. It's free. We don't get much for free nowadays. Uh, each voyage also includes a collection gift, for example, a collectible tile, or it could be a shot glass. Who knows? It's a different collectible gift, but each journey will be something different, hopefully, unless you're traveling back to back, when it might be the same. Uh, the Mariner Magazine. This is an in-print magazine, or you can get the digital format, or both. Completely free, gives you lots of updates about the cruise line, gives you vouchers, gives you insights into new ships or new destinations. So it's a really good opportunity to keep on board with things. <laughs> on board, see what I did there. Um, so if you are the sort of person to stay with one cruise line, having those newsletters and keeping abreast with all the information on your chosen line can be really, really cool. It gives you an idea of what to expect. And if you're like me, you're already thinking about your next cruise when you're sailing on the last one. So it might give you the idea to sit there, have a coffee and read about what could be coming up next. Another thing is special offers for hosted sailings. Um, so this could be specific sailings where there's a special event. For example, there could be um, an enrichment talk. There could be a special 70s themed cruise where they invite stars from the 70s to perform. You'll get special invitations to these in um, advance notice, really, that these are going to happen. There's discounts on certain sailings as well. And third and fourth people sharing a room because your room is priced at double occupancy. If you're having a third person, could be a child, could just be a friend, uh, then they actually pay 50 percent uh, cruise rate on certain sailings. So it's a good way of getting uh, a bigger group for keeping the costs down. So for example, if you are at two parents with two kids, or for example, a group of friends, and you think having two cabins is gonna to be too much money, you can save some money by sharing a cabin. Just make sure you're comfortable around each other's space and understand the bathroom limitations. There might only be one shower and one toilet uh, for four adults, which can be quite a drama for some, especially if you have types of people who like to spend a lot of time getting ready in the mornings. So what's the next rank? Well, it's Two Star Mariner. Oh yes, we're going up in stars. And Two Star Mariner is available from 30 cruise day credits. So this is completely based on how many days you're at sea. Similar to Carnival. Um, so 30 days, you are a Two Star mar Mariner. You get all of the benefits I've mentioned before for Star. Uh, and you also get a lovely, beautiful photograph of the ship that's been graciously provided for you. Um, this is a lovely little souvenir that you can say, I've been on the ship. You can put it up on your wall. Some people like to frame these things and have lots of things. I've seen a great thing on uh, somebody's YouTube before where they actually have a chipboard or pin board covered in all of the lanyards and um, cruise cards that they've received over the years. And it's just like a nice little collage, which is cool. Some people might like to do that with photos of the ship. You also get a 10% um, discount on all logo gear. So that's all the stuff in the shop that is Holland America themed. It could be a t-shirt, could be shot glasses, could be coasters, could be um, a coffee mug. Anything that's uh, branded by the cruise line, you get a 10% discount. Purchases made online are eligible for 15% discount. Now, you might be thinking, what do you mean purchases online? I'm on a cruise. How can I purchase something online? 
What this means is if, for example, you want to buy something like a drinks package or you may want to buy uh, some like a birthday cake as a celebration or decoration for your stateroom, this is at a discount if you pre-purchase it online, which is really, really handy. You'll also receive an, an annual cruise planner lapel button, which sounds very fancy, when you reach the next loyalty tier. So that's really, really cool. The next rank is a three-star Mariner Club. Uh, this is 75 cruise day credits. So once you sail 75 days with Holland America, you are a three-star Mariner. You get all of the benefits of star and two-star, plus 25% off special dining. So that's any uh, dining that's not the main dining, any of the upcharge restaurants. 25% uh, off wine packages as well. That would be all over it for me. I love my wine. Uh, Explorations Cafe beverage purchases. So that's if you want sort of fancy coffees, lattes, cappuccinos, anything like that. And mini bar purchases. So if you are the sort of person to use the mini bar in your stateroom, you would get 25% discount. And that can make a huge difference because those things aren't cheap. 25% uh, off the blend wine making event and individual wine bottles over $100. So if you are a wine connoisseur and you want to do some wine making classes or you want to buy some fancy wine in the dining room, especially if it's a formal night, then you get a nice discount off of that. There's also a discount in the spa, which is called the Greenhouse Spa and Salon on Holland America. Um, you'll be able to go there and have a nice discount on your massages, your pedicures, manicures, hair services. If you're a lady, for example, and you want to have an updo for um, elegant night or formal night, then you can go and do that at a discount. You also get informed first about new itineraries. So each year when they bring out the next year's itineraries and they say, OK, well, 2023, we're going to bring the new Amsterdam to blah, 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 in the med, you will get to have the first opportunity to hear about that and start planning. So at 200 cruise day credits, you are a four star mariner. Do you see there's a theme here with stars and mariner? Um, you receive all of the perks previously mentioned. You have priority check-in, priority tendering at ports where you can't go to the actual dock and you need to get the tender boats. You have priority disembarkation so you can get off the ship early or late, depending on when you want to. Um, also, all laundry and ironing services provided free of charge. Ironing is the bane of my existence on a cruise. I don't mind having to do my own laundry, but you're wanting to go out to dinner and if you pull your shirt out. It's been in a suitcase while you've been getting to the, the ship. And now, even though it was ironed before you put it in, somehow it's creased to the nines and you think, crap, um, you have to go iron it yourself. So this would be amazing for me, having all your laundry and ironing done for free. 50% off all of your specialist dining and wine packages. 50% off the beverage packages at the cafe and 50% off your mini bar. Again, if you want those little miniature whiskies or miniature vodkas, 50% off makes it quite a good deal. Uh, there's a complimentary wine tasting for people who are four star mariners. I would be all over that. Um, great opportunity to have an event added onto your cruise. So it's not just um, a benefit in kind. It's actually something that's really going to mean something to somebody uh, if you're a wine fan. 15% off all of the logo gear and apparel on board um, and products purchased online. A complimentary one year subscription to food and wine magazine or travel and leisure, depending on your choice. And third or fourth members in your cruise cabin actually get a complimentary cruise. Great opportunity to introduce someone to cruising for the first time if you're wanting to grow your brood of cruise family. But wait, there's more. There is a five star mariner. Now, who doesn't want to be at the top level of a scheme? I know I would love to be. So five star mariner is when you've had an, a whopping 500 cruise day credits. That's basically almost two years at sea. Oh, jealous. Uh, you receive all the perks previously. You also get any internet bundle uh, discounted up to $30. Pinnacle Grill is giving away two free dinners, so you get two free specialty dining meals. You get 50% off all of the blend winemaking events. And per cruise, one complimentary day pass to the Greenhouse Spa and Salon. So that would be amazing, especially on a shorter cruise when you think, okay, I've only got two sea days, and then you have one of them, you just spend the whole day in the spa, pampering yourself and having a lovely time. So, are you a Holland American Mariner Society member? Have you been on Holland America before or is this something you've been looking to do? Let me know in the comments and tell me which perk you're most excited about. I'm really looking forward to hearing about this. I have not yet sailed with Holland America, but I'm looking forward to the opportunity to do so. Um, in the next couple of years, I'm hoping to have ticked off every cruise line to try them, see what works for me and see which one I would recommend to you.
And obviously, one of the big things to learn from doing this is that every cruise line is somebody's perfect cruise line and not everybody suits every cruise. It's really important to find which cruise line, which itinerary, which ship works for you. And that is going to be in a future series. But as of this one, we're still focusing on loyalty. And if you are loyal to Holland America, I wanna hear all about it. Now join me next week, where we'll be covering one of the biggest, one of the most famed, and one of the most popular cruise lines in the world, Royal Caribbean. See you then, and see you safe at sea.